Hi, good morning, brothers and sisters. So it is Sunday, March 8th, 2015, and I'm going to try to make this video again. Um, lost connection there. So, um, I was led to Psalm 50. This I was led to Psalm 50 this morning, and I will read it. The Lord, the Mighty One, is God, and He has spoken. He has summoned all humanity from where the sun rises to where it sets, from Mount Zion, the perfection of beauty. God shines in glorious radiance. Our God approaches, and He is not silent. Bower deva fire devours everything in His way, and a great storm rages around Him. He calls on the heavens above and the earth below to witness the judgment of His people. Bring my faithful people to me those who made a covenant with me by giving sacrifices. Then let the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself will be the judge. Oh, my people, listen as I speak. Here are my charges against you, O Israel. I am God, your God. I have no complaint about your sacrifices or the burnt offerings you constantly offer, but I do not need the bulls from your barns or the goats from your pens. For all the animals of the forest are mine, and I own the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird on the mountains, and all the world and all the animals are of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for all the world is mine and everything in it. Do I eat the meat of bulls? Do I drink the blood of goats? Make thankfulness to your sacrifice to God and keep the vows you made to the Most High. Then call on me, and when you are in trouble, I will rescue you, and you will give me glory. But God says to the wicked, Why bother reciting my decrees and pretending to obey my covenant? For you refuse my discipline and treat my words like trash? When you see thieves, you approve of them, and you spend your time with adulterers. Your mouth is filled with wickedness, and your tongue is full of lies. You sit... Hold on. All right, go. <laughs> your mouth is filled with... Your mouth is filled with wickedness, and your tongue is full of lies. You sit around and slander your brother, your own mother's son. While you did all this, I remained silent, and you thought I didn't care. But now I will rebuke you, listing all my charges against you. Repent, all of you who forget me, or I will tear you apart. <laughs> and no... Ooh. <laughs> Repent, all of you who forget me, or I will tear you apart, and no one will help you. But giving thanks is a sacrifice that truly honors me. If you keep to my path, I will reveal to you the salvation of God. <laughs> So, the verses portray God's judgment of the wicked with powerful images of thunder and fire. Judgment is coming to those who refuse to recognize God's authority. God is good, 
but he must deal with those who have harmed others, or he would not be a just God after all. Because he is just, we need to take careful inventory of our life, doing our best to right all the wrongs we have committed. People who deceive, slander, lie, and encourage others to follow immoral lifestyles cannot ignore God's word for long. God sees what goes on, and just because he is silent doesn't mean he doesn't care. He cares. One day, he will present his case against them, and judgment will follow. The way to avoid such an end is to worship God with thanksgiving and follow him and what he says in his word. And that's Psalm 50. So, wow. That one part, repent all of you who forget me or I will tear you apart. Mm. I don't know, I'm speechless. I, I repent. <laughs> no, I'm kinda, I don't want him to tear me apart. So, anyway, be blessed, you guys. Have a wonderful day. Love you.